Peter, did you think over what I told you last night? I'm afraid I'll need more time to think it over. It's awful risky. Sure it is, but then I don't know how else you expect to pay me. I'll find some way to pay you honest. You're beginning to bore me, son. Thirty thousand is my last offer. Take it or leave it. Pass. You sure, Peter? You'll be making a big mistake. Think it over. I'll give you one more day, that's all. my deposit. I haven't got all day. Yes, Mr. Garfield. All right, put your hands up and keep quiet. Out of the way. get away. I'll personally make sure of that. Hey, who's this buffoon here? Your sheriff? Oh, no. He's a very important man. He's the boss. Papers. Nothing but papers. <laughs> this lousy bank is rotten. Go on, leave it. We'd best be going or they'll hit us for a loan. You know where you could always pick up a fast buck? Piggy banks. You ever thought of how many... Behave yourselves. I suggest you stay there if you don't want to be hurt. 
You put your nose outside that door, it might be shot off. Ted, Jumbo, Bill, get on your horses. That car has to be wanted outlaws. They just off the bank. $85 plus $500 out of the Joker. Mm. Is that all? Yeah. It isn't much. You're right. Well, I'll be damned. Mm. I want to see you a minute, amigo. Yeah, tickling me. Sometimes you mistake me for a woman. Yeah, well, that paper reports we stole $5,000. Now, you cough up the rest. Where's the other $4,000, you How son of a... How that be? You know you counted the money yourself on the road. That's your story, but I know what really happened. You took the money out of the safe when I wasn't looking, didn't you? But I'll find it. Angost is a man of honor. I would like you to understand that. Do you suppose I would steal a friend's gold? Is that it, amigo? Do you suppose I would destroy a partnership for a few paltry dollars? Can't you see they are trying to split us up? It's surprising how many newspapers they sell with lies, amigo. And, and who believes what those asses write anyway? Only stupid little men. All right, amigo. If it wasn't you, then who could have done it? No. I think I know. Hi, boss. No, oh, Peter. Mental telepathy, my boy. I was just thinking of the uh, money outstanding. I always pay my gambling debt. Excellent habit. I prefer doing business with real gamblers. It's always a pleasure. Be seated. Well, now. 
That seems to clear everything up, doesn't it? Oh, my IOU? If you don't mind. Not now. And with this 2000 I'm going to get that money back. You mind that? Not a bit. Did you have a rich relative die? Or did you manage to find a horse to back? Ah, it's my business. Peter. Best of luck. Thanks a lot. That's the fourth spot you've won in a row. You don't have to show us your hand. We didn't pay to see it. Well, I could have beat that. You should have called. Got to have faith in yourself. I was bluffing. Evening. Is Peter winning? I told you I'd win this evening, didn't I? I'd like to play a few hands. That is, if there are no objections from any of you gentlemen. Hell no. Have a seat. Well, quite an honor. Thank you. Bring over 5,000. 24 hours. How, Mr. Garfield? You know I'm not rich. Shut them up. Double that's enough. Get out. The boss. Out. I'll wait outside. Peter, perhaps there's some way I can help you. I have one of these? Ah, uh, no thanks. <laughs> Mr. Garfield, I lost some money. I gave you an IOU. But you've got to give me some more time. And where do you expect to get $10,000? A lot of money. But I swear to you, I'll find the money. Somehow or other. Yes. Of that, I'm certain. But I think I can help you. What are you getting at? You know very well. I'm saying the offer still goes. I'm offering you 10%, the same deal. And you make 300000 That's a lot of lettuce, Garfield. I want a third of the take. I understand your feelings, but I'm afraid it's no deal. You again. I figured that you two would be far away. See? You're killing with us. Hey, what are you guys doing? If you're thinking of kidnapping me, I want to warn you my father and mother are dead. I'm an orphan. You're an orphan? Oh, the poor fetter. Now you just come along with us. We're going to tuck you into a nice warm bed. <laughs> has fallen down. Did you damage your wings? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Now Stay I back. get you. You, you stink. All right. He throws me in the heat. Mm. Then he says, I stink, that lousy little bastard. Mangosta, you know you don't stink. Go on. <laughs> Mangosta, hey, isn't that an animal which is very fond of snakes? You let him go, and I'll show him how I eat snakes, amigo. Okay. Forget about it for now. I'm only interested in that $4,000 you have of ours. Oh. Well, how'd you find out? You read about it in the Globe, gringo. Here. Not for 2000 bucks. All well, you got... That's the way I happened to end up. You know what that means? He's blown your share of the money. All of my money? What do you do that for? I suppose I can't always be lucky. I can only blame myself. Just played with the wrong people, I guess. Garfield's got the money now. Garfield? Right. You remember, the guy with the mustache. Uh -huh. The one who made the threats. 
That's the guy. Yeah. You see, I owed him $2,000. I paid him all right. Then I really blew it. Now he's got my IOU for $10,000. So now he's got everything. My money, my IOU, everything but what I have on. I would just like Settle to... Settle down. Uh, maybe he's got some money hidden. Just let me look a little bit. How can you tell what he's got in his pockets, huh? <laughs> Come. Wenn du nicht sofort mit dem Gejacker aufhörst, drehe ich dir persönlich den Hals um. Was haltet ihr von 300.000 Dollar? 300.000 Dollar? Ach, schon wieder eine Masche runtergefallen. Oh, you'll never finish that damn thing. You have no confidence in me, amigo. Was ich mir vorgenommen habe, das tue ich. Irgendwann ist es fertig. Geduld und Ausdauer sind meine hervorstechendsten Tugenden. Hört, hört. Da sind sie. Jumbo, sag den Männern Bescheid. And Peter? We'll take care of Peter afterwards. Let him open it up first. Calm down. Just be patient, you little amateur. The fast got answer me, go. If you wait a bit longer, you'll see. Calm down. Hey, listen. Oh, yeah. oh no. Andale! See if the strong box is there. Hey, there, boss. Get up to that horse in his carriage. Hurry! Hurry. Oh, that's Garfield. What's he doing here? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I was supposed to do this job with Garfield. And I said you'd do it. I thought I'd have more fun this way. <laughs> hey! I'd like to see his face. You might if they take the shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? Hey, man, Costa, this is no picnic. Get a move on. They may be taking a shortcut. We left them back there long ago. Oh, come on, you get this thing moving fast. <laughs> The shortcut, come on! Sensitive. Uh, thanks. Don't forget it. Ah, it's nothing. Old Garfield had caught you. He would have turned you in to the sheriff. He might have given me away. Well, now. Okay. So you had a good reason for turning back. But whatever reason you had, boy, I just want you to know you won't regret. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, as Dad used to say, about money. You ever make it, son? I just relax and enjoy it. Well, sounds like pretty smart advice to me. You should have heard my father talk. Hey, Mangosta, close up your pants. Let's get out of here. Hold your horses. trace of the cashier. Now, this pocket makes it look like he may have fought with him. But it might look that way to... Oh! oh. What's the matter with you? Uh, my feet are bothering me. This weather brings it on back. You know, it's my opinion that uh, those bandits might have kidnapped him. Yep. I'm sure you're right, Mr. Garfield. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking along the same line. The way I figure it, those men are probably holding a boy hostage, I'll bet you. How about it? Say, Sheriff? Well, what is it, Robert? My head sure hurts me. Mind if I get a beer? All right, I'll talk to you later. I'm sure the bank will have those serial numbers written down. All we have to do is wait for the outlaws to begin spending it. No, sir. Those numbers weren't taken down this time. Have you blocked all the roads? Yeah, it's the first thing I thought of. Sheriff! Sheriff! Worst to speak on those two bandits. They got through their roadblock. Jumbo, get the boys ready. I'll be right Now, wait a minute, Garfield. You gotta let the law handle this. You forget those outlaws have my bonds. And besides, I think Peter could use a friend right now. And I won't rest until I find him, Sheriff.
Oh, oh my, just look at it. I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. Madre, Dios, help me. I can't bear to look at so much money. I'm scared I might go blind. <laughs> oh, the tequila I can buy with $300,000. And the fiestas, such fiestas. I will have a ranch, the biggest in all my Mexico. There will be two virgins just in case you'd I like to. The money is split three ways. Get that through your head. Of course. Sure, sure. Let's count it up and go. No. <laughs> Why not, Peter? The job is finished. So let's split the take. And then each man will be on his own. You can't spend it. Anyway, not for a couple of months. The authorities will have a list of these numbers here. We'll just have to wait for our money to cool down. Oh, that's all, eh? Why don't they have it here in the globe? You can't even read. But Mangosta is right. There's not a word about those numbers in the paper. <laughs> they wouldn't mention it. But why not? That's the whole idea. The minute we start spending it, we'll have the law on our backs. As a matter of fact, I've got a complete list of the serial numbers here. His teller, I got a copy as well. I have always had luck with numbers. I just want what I have coming. And you too. I suppose you're right. But we started this thing together and said, so help me, God, we'll finish it together. Now behave yourselves. Do you understand? <laughs> but why do you talk to me like that? I'm not stupid. Mangosta, I didn't say that. I'm afraid that with all that loot in your grubby little hands, you won't be able to wait. You want to go right out and spend every penny. No, we stay together, so we can keep an eye on each other. From now on, we're going to be like three brothers. <laughs> oh, God, what have I done to deserve such brothers? Still a problem. Where are we going to go? You don't have to know of a place. Hey, what about your little ranch in Arizona? That's a great idea. Sounds like the perfect place for us. Something wrong? No, not exactly. There's possibilities, I guess. But my sister runs the ranch back there. It's her place, not mine. She thinks I'm a traveling salesman, and I want it to stay that way. Though we don't tell her. <laughs> I think we better get some shut eye and talk about this in the morning. I'm pretty tired. We've got to get rid of that buggy. It's too easy to spot. We keep using that damn machine, they're going to catch us. How many roadblocks can we bust through? That buggy isn't designed for people like us. We could sell it for something else. Maybe a Chevy. <laughs> sure. Why not? We'll sell it to the sheriff. Well, anyway, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I'm off to sleep. <laughs> Hey, 
Boss, automobile track. Yeah, you're right. Looks like they passed this way. Come on, boys. Where are you going? To do PP. I can't hold her for the rest of my life. Doctors Los Santos. Men can't even perform natural functions. Doing those. Hey, who are you? What do you want? What are you doing here? Ah, it's beautiful, eh? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> it's the only one in the whole territory, eh? <laughs> Hey, take it easy. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Everything is all right. Eh? <laughs> is this yours? Well, sure it's ours. You see such a little beauty? It's a horseless carriage. What's that you say? So how come there's no horse? It's under there. You think we're thick-headed, is that it? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, but that's where it is. You're welcome to take a look at it. Hey, well, that's a lot it's of it. It's true, it's true. Right this way. Hey, don't do that. You'll break it. What the hell are you doing? Now, how can a horse live in a barn that size, huh? Yeah, <laughs> one horse, hell. <laughs> it's got 20 horses. <laughs> well, the last time that somebody laughed at little brother, I ended up pushing daisies. Yeah, but, uh, well, you see, uh, they're mechanical horses, actually. But, uh, first, you put this down. It's really very simple. There's nothing difficult about it at all. In fact, uh, uh, let me show you how it starts here. you that in exchange for your mouth. Get a deal? Uh, uh, nah. Uh, how about selling them? Get the cash right here. One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred dollars. Ah, uh, nah. Ah, you win. And the automobile. Come on now and let me introduce you to your very uh, own, very lucky man. Private very, very pursuit. Cool. Here you are now. Right here's the light. You want to make it swim, don't you? Uh -huh. uh, just now, straight down, down that road. That's perfect. Like that. Marvelous. Now you think you're sure going to get back. Uh -huh. What do you think of that for a mating call? Uh, perfect. Uh, beautiful. Tell me how to steer you. Well, you just take your foot off that thing and charge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Watch out where you're going! I was getting tired of bouncing around on his back. Zapata, you don't know what a fortune that thing costs. 
You can count it off with all your money. You can go buy yourself a new one. I'm going to take a look at them horses fast. Let's get out of here. mind having that. Not the right age. Give me that. It's my sister. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, it's all right. Forget it ever happened. Sure. I'm sorry. Really, I am, Sabata. I wouldn't want to destroy our friendship. It means a hell of a lot. In fact, you're more like a, a brother to me. Here, just have a little piece of bread. It'll keep your mouth busy. Oh, what is this stuff? Stone? Gold. Gold! Yeah. <laughs> we got the best of those guys at home. Oh, <laughs> gold, Granny. <laughs> You're going to stop the Russian party. Hey, I can pay the automobile salesman for it. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to enjoy it? It's about his range. <laughs> Maybe an order is to work in the fields to prove we are honest. <laughs> Mangosta, you get a bullet in the middle of your no-good mouth if anybody at the ranch finds out about us. <laughs> sharing your joke with the rest of us. That way we can all have a little laugh. <laughs> you know what makes this so funny? These are people worked out in gold mines to get gold. But instead, here we are putting it in. I've heard funny ones. Hey, what the hell are you trying to do, various? Sabata. You know, I'm worried. It's awful risky leaving that kind of money lying around. Uh, maybe you are right. I suppose I will have to stay behind to guard it. Why? I wouldn't leave you behind. What if someone crept up on you? But the offers appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, it's closed. We'll wait around until it opens. They ain't opening up today. But if you want to sell some gold, you can try the dry goods store. Uh, just see old Mackenzie. Hey, what's got in here? 
That gray mare is riding his fullest. Is that true, Lou? I'd recognize that horse anywhere. Wow. That's the horse he paid a hundred bucks for just a year ago. He bought it off of me. You guys are kind of new around town, ain't you? That's right. Just passing through. Get your hand up. I've been to some pretty friendly places in my time, you know, but this town takes the cake. Come on. Out with it now, son. We know that you murdered the Fullers. So let's get the sheriff over here if you think so. He'll be able to straighten out this whole thing. We don't need no sheriff here, fella, because the citizens in these parts are honest people. Vamos. Come on. Come on, get moving. He explained about the horses. You can't do this. We're innocent. Every man's got a right to judge to the jury. Isn't there a Christian among you? All done, John. Yep, I reckon we can get started now. Ready? Wait a minute. You can't send them on their way without a word from the Lord. Help me up here, sonny. Be patient. Don't get you hanging. Just hold on. Hurry it up there, Charlie. Psalm 102, praise of divine goodness. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all iniquities. He heals all ills. Redeems your life from destruction. Crowns you with kindness and compassion. He, he Who would have thought I would go to my you're grave a millionaire? <laughs> Where'd you learn how to pray? At home, and it's the only prayer I can remember. Finish it for us. And lead us to the Lord hears everyone's prayers for evil. For thine is the king to judge the us from this stinking rope. Bless the Lord, all his works everywhere in his domain. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. How about it, Albert? I'll bet that greaser outlived them all. Sure, shooting. <laughs> I wish I had you by the cojones. Your prayer. They have been answered, muchacho. We're safe. <laughs> Mangosta, be reasonable. Where'd you put it? Tell us and we'll let you go. Amigo. Don't say anything. They'll beat you, but they won't let you die. Let them find the dough themselves if they got a mind to, okay? 
Mangosta will not talk. How's the wound doing, Peter? Let me have a look at it. Does it bother you any, son? Ah! Ah! Let him go! Oh. Uh, okay. Uh. Okay. I'll let him go for $300,000. Is that a deal? Okay. I'll murder you, gringo. I will kill you with my own hands. Te juro que te mato. <laughs> You're very anxious for the dollars, no? Well, there's no use in pretending now, is there? Where did you put that box? It's almost certain it was around here somewhere, but where? Oh, shit. I know. It's on the other side. That's where it is. But, but where? I just don't understand it. Hey, that's kind of funny, though. The box isn't there, amigo. See, especially since we were outside shooting the horses. Should I go get the other one, boss? It'd be a waste of time. We'll look for ourselves.
do you mean, hurry up? There's nothing we can do now. Dig! I don't care how you do it, even if I've used your nails. There's a lot of money buried underneath all that, so come on, dig! Big a boo! Share my money. I figured at least one of them would get killed. <laughs> Where were you when the fun started? Party's over. You missed everything. Ah, it was very brave of you. But who is the one who saved the cash? How's your cash? figure? Uh, it looks worse than it is. You did all right. You sure didn't run away from it. I'm sure glad you decided to stay and fight instead of hiding like some people I know. Hey, why do you make jokes like that? I'm sick and tired of you treating me as if I was a coward. Do you hear that? I said, sick, sick. Hijo de puta, gringo. Johnny, Johnny, sag mir die Wahrheit. Und darüber können wir später sprechen, Pat. Zuerst von mir Dr. Peabody. Willkommen zu Hause, Mr. Garingo. Listen, Clemens, I need a favor. I want you to go into town along with Pat, bring the doc back to my friend. He was wounded pretty bad in his shoulder. You better hurry. Patricia, you tell Peabody to bring his instruments on over. La cucaracha ya no puede caminar porque no tiene, porque lo falta. Mari. Feels like there's something in the way down there. Know what we do? And just lift it up and drop it, eh? <laughs> Look, I want you to remember, you don't call me Sabat anymore, all right? Si, Senor John. Seguro. Is it in yet? It's in, Peter. And I'll be damned if I know how we'll ever get it out of there again. Hey, why don't...
don't we get a big stick and push it out from underneath, huh? Stop talking. Give me a hand. At least we know it's safe where it is now. Safe. We may have to blast it out with dynamite, but that's it. This way, nobody will be able to touch the cash without all of us knowing it. Gorgeous! You're back under the covers and tracting sick. Patricia will get back soon with the doc. Better? Let's go. You'll be all right. I'll stop by later. But all you need is rest and good food. Thanks. Ain't nothing of it. Goodbye, Doc. Sam, get in here. Here I am, Mr. Garfield. Sam, I want this sent immediately. Yes, sir. Garrett. Well, Garrett. But isn't he? Shh. Just send it. And don't say a word to anyone. If you have any news about that robbery, I want your guarantee I'll be the first to hear of it. You can go. Did you know I would never forgive you, amigo, if I died? You know what'll happen? I'll inherit $50,000. Half of your share. Think about it. We may bet we're keeping to it. Mr. Ramirez, I have your wool. Gracias, senorita. It's nothing. And you'll also find some new needles as well. Gracias. Muchas gracias, senorita. I cannot wait to finish that mantilla. Let me help you down. We can meet later. Now, what the hell is this about another 20,000? Because nowadays my boys are using instruments like this. What? For God's sake. What do you think I hired you for, the Philharmonic Orchestra? Well, pick up your fiddle and play somewhere else. Sure. However, you might enjoy our type of music. You want to buy tickets for the concert? Hey, ain't that a scattergun? 12 gauge. It's a beauty. The 20,000 is a deal. The boys don't like hanging around. It's bad publicity. It'll be a pleasure doing business with you. Now, about your friends. I have some contacts. I'm sure I could locate these three boys and quick. Hey, Clements. Don't you come back drunk, you understand? You bring back a couple of bottles for us, too. You hear? Sure thing, Mr. John. Patricia. We're having rabbit stew for dinner tonight. Ah, it's my favorite dish. How did you guess? Hey, uh, leave that alone. <laughs> nah, don't be jealous, son. Patricia! Maybe you'll end up finishing it this time, huh? <laughs> With time and patience, Senor John, I will do everything. <laughs> Patricia! Is she? Do you know where she is? You might try looking for your little brother. Are they together? I think they are in the barn. Zapata, amigo, I just want you to know how much I appreciate our partnership. No, Patricia, but I owe everything to John. This would be like stabbing him in the back. Pierre, as long as you're outside the law, we can never be happy together. Let me talk to John. Patricia. How dare you spy on me? Leave us alone and stop treating me like a child. Why don't you go back inside to that dirty Mexican friend of yours? 
I'm sorry, but there are some decisions that I have to make. If I ever catch a two of you alone again, I'll beat him with an inch of his life. You understand? John, do you think that's all you need to do to end it? Never. Let me tell you now, it's hopeless. Because we love each other. He's told me the truth. I know about the robbery and why you came back to the ranch. John, I had to tell her. I do love her. That's the hardest part. John, can't I make it clear to you? You've been so good to me, giving me everything I ever wanted. The farm, you've even robbed for me. But Peter is the only man I love. I always thought you'd marry a gentleman. That's funny, isn't it? Now look what you've got. You look. He'll make up for what he's done, I know. It isn't too late to return all that money to the bank authorities. Oh, John, please, everything will work out somehow if you'll give us your consent. She's right. I'd do anything for her. Yes, man, Ghost has solved our problem. <laughs> hey, Chacho! You see, I got all of it now! <laughs> Adios, senores! <laughs> This might be of some interest to you. The man Gosta lost 80,000 bucks to some guy, and according to my contact, he bumped him off in El Paso. Then he managed to slip over into a little Mexican village, a place called San Pedro. Very good, Buck. Now we can get started. <laughs> really had a chance to talk about returning the money. I was wondering how you might feel about it. Seems like a good idea. Thanks. First, we got to find that Mexican. Why, he could be just about any person. You sure could. Hold on a minute. We know we're on the right track. How much further do you think? That's pretty hard to say. He could have gone anywhere. It's a big country. Mexico. Well, we just have to look for him town by town. That's right. Let's get going. Go on, beat it. Pedro. Well, this makes the fifth town this week. I'm dying of thirst. How about a drink? Yeah. Hey, those gringos might be the right ones. Vámonos, amigo. Buenos dias. Señores? Two whiskeys. There is none. You got any rye? No. Now, what liquor do you have to drink in this place? Only tequila, senor. Not two beers. I'd like tequila, if the gentlemen are buying. I'm almost positive she's wearing that shawl of Mangosta's. Hey, you're right. Then this is the right place. Keep still. During the fiesta time, there are always Americans here from El Paso. But they only seem to come in town when it's dark. 
Are you here on business? That's a nice shawl you got there. Like it yourself? No, senor. It's a present for my man. Isn't he jealous? Sure he is. But I can put up with him. He just bought a new automobile. I borrowed it to go out today. The automobile. So he promised to make me the order. I'm mad about guns. I once knew a man who could knit. I can do Tucson, Arizona. A long time ago. Mangosta needed me this, but he's at the ranch. Do you suppose it's the same man you knew? Do you think it is? You never can tell. Small world. Uh, oh, tonight's fiesta. You must come with me out to his hacienda in my auto. Uh, thanks. I'm afraid we can't. We've got some business to attend. But you are going to the fiesta, senor. Well, I ain't about to argue. Ain't much point in refusing such a cordial invitation. Okay. gotten here much quicker. You hadn't forgotten to give us your forward address. <laughs> I like that. I think it's funny. Jose, untie them. These are my friends. You hear me? My favorite gringos. <laughs> there, is that better, eh, brothers? <laughs> ah, those lamb, a favorite of mine. And you are a favorite of mine. You and that girl, you didn't think I was listening to everything, huh? Wasn't that nice? She wanted all the money returned to the authorities, didn't she? Ah, you were spying. That isn't nice. Jose, get him out of my sight before I kill him. Bueno, come on. What are you planning to do with the kid? I haven't decided yet. But right now, I don't want to think about him. It's going to take some time. What are your plans for me? Ah, you are joking. <laughs> Zapata, but you are like a brother. My house is yours. What are friends for? You should know how I cherish you. You can choose how to go. There will be no pain. You know, right? You shouldn't worry about it. It's nothing. Now sit down. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm going to be the amigo. Today we have roast lamb first, followed by six other courses, then amigo. When you have eaten, you will die. Your health? <laughs> no. Wait, I don't want to have any shooting on my birthday. My lovely fiesta will not be ruined, do you hear? Take him away and put him with the other one. Get him out of here, it makes me sick. Rosa, Conchita, bring out the food. Yay! I'm up here. Sure, it's good to see you. Hold on, I'm coming on down. Ok. 
come you left the party, huh? You know how it goes. There's a difference of opinion. What about? Money? No, about life and death. It's not too deep for me. I guess he wants to kill us, right? After the fiesta? That's right. Of course, it won't be till they're all drunk. So we have to get out of here. I've been giving it some thought. There must be a way out. It's good wine. Want some? I'm being an idiot. I've got other things to think about. <laughs> Well, get the show on the road. to go around shooting up fiestas now, is it? What do you think? Should we help them out? Right where we are. Well, I got him, boss. Mission accomplished. Good work, Buck. Boys are pretty sharp.
Garfield. But wasn't he killed? I sure. It's just an illusion, Peter. You're all crazy. Talk or you'll get roasted. I'd be happy to tell you, honey. I don't know anything. If you want to know, why don't you ask those two gringos? How about another story? You managed to drop 8,000 in El Paso. And you bought this ranch, didn't you? Tell us that story. I just happened to have a rich uncle, Yota. Will he talk? He can't hold out much longer. You don't know him. Talk. This is the last opportunity you'll get. Tell us where the money's hidden. Uh, you bastard, Garfield! You'll never find the door! Boss, I found it! Cut him down! Stay put. Those men are all hired professionals. What are you doing? It's a pretty old trick, but it might work. Catch him, hey. Make a torch. Yeah. So I'll never find it, huh? Tell me the time. Skyfield. It's up to you and me. Don't be a fool, Peter. We can still make a deal. 50-50. How about it? Ah, no deal, Garfield. I want 100%. Oh. Oh. Oh.
Change your mind soon enough. Nothing will change my mind now. Give me your word, amigo, that you are really going to burn it. <laughs> well, it's sure been a lot of fun. Goodbye, John. Adios, Mangosta. Gosh, your mind that gun might be loaded, fella? This may well come as a surprise, but you're right. You didn't really expect me to return it, did you? After doing all the work? I thought of the idea, and everybody else wanted the money. You? Garfield, Mangosta. All you ever thought about was how to cheat the kid. Now, didn't you? Wouldn't you kind of feel better, Peter, if you shot me in the back? I wouldn't want to do that. Not to a friend. And my sister, are you planning on returning to her? Hell, I've already forgotten her. I didn't love her. Well, you sure fooled me. What about one last request? To be shot with my own gun, huh, Peter? Why not? It won't hurt you. Sure, why not? You better start saying it. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Mangosa's got all the money and he's burning it up. You never had much reason to kill me. Well, I do now, you bastard. Ah! 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 